is no surprise to anyone that all of our body systems are interconnected and working together to keep us functioning properly. So it should also be no surprise that when one of our body systems isn't working well, that it would negatively affect the other systems. Being overweight negatively impacts our body and one of the ways it does this is by lowering our testosterone levels. Hypogonadism, and in particular secondary hypogonadism, which involves the process of the brain signaling the production of testosterone, is associated with being overweight, with obese men having 30% lower testosterone levels than those of a normal weight. Which brings us to the question, can we use weight loss as a low testosterone treatment? And is this all we need to do to keep our testosterone levels up once we've gotten them back to where they belong? Well, it isn't 100% clear why increased body fat lowers testosterone. Current science is pointing toward the fact that body fat, and in particular belly fat, contains high levels of the enzyme aromatase, which converts testosterone into estrogen. This would explain why not only overweight men tend to have lower testosterone, but also have higher estrogen levels than normal. We've established in past videos that the best way to lose body fat, and in particular belly fat, is through a combination of diet and exercise, with more intense exercise providing the greatest benefit. This is once again supported in a study done in Japan, except they took it one step farther and looked at how 12 weeks of vigorous physical activity affected testosterone levels in overweight men. And what they found was after 12 weeks of exercise, these overweight men had significant increases in testosterone, as well as lower body fat levels. But what is interesting here is the men who exercised the most intense had the greatest increase in testosterone, independent of the amount of weight they lost, which led the researchers to conclude that at least in this study, vigorous physical activity is the main factor in increasing serum testosterone levels. It is important to mention here that intense exercise will increase testosterone if you allow adequate time for recovery. Intense exercise without adequate recovery time can actually lower testosterone. So we can do more to improve our testosterone levels than just losing excess body fat. Exercise also plays a role in increasing our testosterone and keeping it elevated as we age. So it's a good thing that we can get fit and build muscle at any age. And to what extent can we keep them elevated? They did a study on master athletes with the average age of these men being 68. The oldest athlete was 74. Now these people have been training for a long time. The study didn't specify how long, but I'm 53 now. And if I was to start exercising today, by the time I'm 74, I would have been training for over 20 years. That seems like a long time. Now they use VO2 max to determine the fitness level of these men. And I think it's key to mention this because we often think of building muscle when it comes to testosterone. But there is a cardiovascular element to it as well. In the study, they compared their testosterone levels to sedentary men of the same age. Which made sense for the study as they were looking at other metrics. But for our purposes, we can compare them to the average man on the street. The normal testosterone range for a man is between 270 to 1070 nanograms per deciliter, with the average being about 679. Now these men with the average age of 68 had testosterone levels of 830. So these old men's testosterone was way higher than the average guy walking on the street. So if we want to be one of these old men with high testosterone, we need to keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.